Hello and welcome to another Vandal Vlog video. Right, the semi urban fox is going urban and hopefully, hopefully it's a good night because I've had a really crap day and I'm really up for having some fun and uh, try not to do too many skids on my bike. So I've been retracing some of my videos, I've been looking back uh, when I first started and uh, I didn't quite know what I was doing or what I was looking for so I've gone gone back over some of them and I reckon some of the fridges I've, I've seen probably around 30 I reckon they're probably still there so uh, anyway so I'm come over the bridge bumpy bumpy dee 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 Look, I just flew past. I'm going to strip this down a bit more. I need to travel light. Probably up there for myself.
someone's been on it. bit left on it. It's been here for a long, long time. You can just tell. Can't go out scrapping without doing some dumpster diving. for this. It's not one of those circular transformers, is it? No, that's what I want. I'm sure you don't have to work for me. Oh yeah. You better believe it. <laughs>
What a score. Didn't see that, but just done these two. Didn't miss any? Need a bigger bag. something It'd be rude not to do a bit of dumpster diving on the way home, wouldn't it? Well, this is it. Back where we started. I cannot wait to get this bag off my back. It is flipping heavy. Oh my days. That's been a good night. It's just starting to rain. That's a sign. Right. I need some food. That was a good night. Ah, oh, it was a great night. I had fun. And the fun nearly came to an end. I'll see you guys back at the office. And here we are. Check this out. This is everything that I got last night. An assortment of gold, silver, and brass, and other stuff. Let's start at the end. Plugs. I love a good brassy plug. Two, four, six, eight, not only nine last night, but that's good. I only got one the night before. Did I? Oh, I don't know. Check that out for worms. There's a good bunch there. That is not bad for one night. Not bad at all. This, this is what came out of that green thing you saw me pick up. 
I presume it's some sort of heating element or something in there. I have done undone the screws. Can't quite get that out. I have to clean it up. That is aluminium. So I'm guessing in there is a bit of copper, maybe a bit of brass. So I'll uh, get to that another time. Uh, what was this out of? This was out of something. I can't remember what it was. Might have been a washing machine. I mean, a mic oh, a microwave. Yeah. So that's a motor. I'm guessing there's some sort of uh, some copper in there. So I'll keep that. That's a soft transformer. Another brush. Just at the end there, you saw me go into a dumpster. It's the same place where I got this. And that on the floor. They are all nice big chunks of brass there. It's that nice brassy colour in there. Quite a few bits here. There's a bit of a pipe. It's a bit of a back of a fridge. These are all the bits that are inside the lock. Even these little, what are they, keyways or something? Even they're brass. And they're, and they're brass as well, all that. That was off uh, a copper pipe we'll get to in a minute. And so was that. So that was a nice, nice little chunk. This lot, this is all the bits of pipe that are left over on the back of a fridge. Clean this up. We've got some nice clean copper. Uh, it's got all stuff over it, so I'm guessing that'll go as dirty copper. But once you take this stuff off, it's just like uh, it's just like the cords. Uh, you take that off, and then you've got yourself some really nice. I think it's number one, isn't it? Or number two, whatever. Nice chunks there. That is lovely. A few other little bits and pieces down here. <coughs> Got that lot there. All adds up. That's all copper. Copper, all dirty copper. Here's the other little uh, bits that come out of this. Had some copper ones in there as well. They're pretty cool. But that is all the copper I got in one night. That is not too shabby. This lot here. Oh, that was a score and a half. That was. Oh, I could not believe it. I found one bit which had this on it. It was only because it had that on it that I saw it. So it caught the light from the torch. I thought, oh, that looks like a bit of brass. I picked it up and it was like that. And I was like, whoa, that's a score. Obviously, I had a little dig around and found all this. It needs cleaning up a bit. Take them bits off. That is beautiful. Look at that. That's lovely. That is a score. Quite a bit there. I haven't weighed it. I might weigh some of this some of this up at the end. These are obviously off the back of the fridges. Now it's thanks to some people in some of the comments, I now know what to do with these. So in here, on each end there's two bits of metal and in there is mesh. It's got these little balls. Can you hear it? It's like little maracas. And there's little balls and stuff so with your magnet you can find where the metal is cut it off and you got yourself a bit of number one i think off that and this will just go as, you cut that off clean that up the rest will just go as dirty copper i guess they're very cool and i've got plenty of them two four six eight ten twelve fourteen of them This off a of microwave, oh, I don't need to tell you what that is because that is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. There's a nice chunk of copper on there. That'd be lovely. These, you saw me strip the fans at the side of the road. That is the way to go. Uh, someone left a comment, I think it was C3PO, that said uh, check these because they could be um, copper coated aluminium. But I can't remember ever coming across a fan motor that wasn't copper. If you look in there, that is copper. That is like horsehair copper. Both of them. That one's slightly darker. But they are copper, so if you find the fans, that's what you get in them. And that's nice. That's a nice bit of copper in there. I love them. But, I will be just a little dance. Normally, now modern days, these would be aluminium. But this came out of quite an old microwave. Check that out. And that is not coated. That, my friends, you can see it. That is a copper transformer, all copper. That is beautiful. Look at that. It's 
bit of cleaning up. But yeah, I could look at that all day. That is beautiful. Now, if I only found that last night, I would be a very, very happy boy. That's got some weight to it. I'm going to stick it on the scales in a minute. So that, that was the find of the night. I think any scrapper out there watching this right now would love to come home with that. And for me, who's a noob, that's great. That is, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. You know, the chances of going out and finding one of these these days is tough. But, I did. And uh, what are the chances of finding two of these two nights in a row? Huh? You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Obviously, you've got the metal on here. Just a bit of scrap metal. That is not one solid piece. It is made up of all these little parts. So that would just go into what you would call shred, I guess. But that's a nice, compact, heavy bit there. So, yeah. That's the one. That, that. You know, for any scrapper, especially a beginner, to go out and get all that, that's a win. That is a win, and that's great, because uh, I had a crap day that day, but it finished off really, really well. So, just quickly, in some of my old videos, I used to weigh some stuff up just for a bit of fun, so I'm going to do that now again, just for ha-has, just to see what I got. And uh, it'll show you, you scrappers and you new potential scrappers, uh, you know, what is achievable and what you can find. And uh, it might give you some sort of guide as to what price that it might go for. Obviously, the price of it will depend on where you come from. Here we are then. Just for a bit of fun, I thought I'd weigh them up. Uh, I used to do this before. Uh, I've done it with a phone back then. So it'd be interesting to see what it'd be like on the GoPro. So I'm just going to weigh some up just for a bit of fun. Let's start, start with this brass. Point seven eight of a kilo, satin pounds. Uh, One point seven two pounds, almost two pounds there out of that. So that's not too bad. Twenty seven and a half ounces, seven hundred and eighty grams of brass. That's, uh, that's all right. No, if I could get a couple of pounds of brass every evening, that'd be pretty cool. Let's weigh these up. One point one point two pounds. I think these are called flutes, if I remember correctly. They obviously will need cleaning up. Cut there, cut there. Take the mesh out, empty them out. Get yourself a nice bit of copper. So we've got there pounds, almost twenty ounces. Yeah, half a kilo. That's not too bad. Half a kilo. under one and a half pounds, 21 ounces, just over half a kilo on that, that's not too bad, I thought it was going to be heavier than that though to be honest, but it's quite light. We won't bother with these, but the question is, How much do these bad boys weigh? So, all you scrappers out there, now's your opportunity, have a quick guess, stick it in the comments quickly. Pure copper, how much does that weigh? How much does it weigh? I'll give you a couple of seconds, jump in the comment section, have a guess. I'll know if you're cheating or not. Let's test, test your knowledge. Jeez, that's half a kilo already. Check that out. There you go. Just over one kilo of copper from one transformer. I'm 
That's great. What's that? 2.26 pounds. There you go. Just over one kilo of copper. Jeez, I'm happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. Once I clean these bits up, clean these up. What we're going to end up there. So, I mean, what are we in? We're over three kilos of copper, just in one night. Probably four kilos, just in one night. That's that's amazing. I am chuffed a bit, and that is beautiful. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it because I had a lot of fun with this one. I really did. It was fantastic. And all the hard work has, has paid off. And it is hard work, you know. It's not easy going out on a bike. I did travel just under 14 miles last night as well, so it's not easy. But uh, it's, it's, a lot of it's thanks to you guys. It encourages me. It encourages me to keep going out there, not just to enjoy myself and just have some fun but you know i'm probably going to go out regardless anyway but you know to have you guys and to have your comments and your support it really helps you know and uh the country's going through a tough time at the moment everywhere's locked down and uh i have received a couple of emails saying uh, a couple of thank yous from a couple of people who didn't want to be mentioned and they did say thanks and they're loving the videos and um it's they are really encouraging me to keep going out there every day keep making a video and uh, that's what I'm going to do. You know, if if it helps out one person, as well as myself, then it's good. It's cool. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I did. I had fun. That is, that is crazy. That's a kilo of copper right there. And tune in for the next one. Because I'll let you into a secret. I found another one. So it's going good. My uh, my treasure trove of copper and aluminium and brass and cables and everything else is getting bigger and bigger and bigger every day. Around the end of the month, around the 21st, I'll be two months doing YouTube videos. So I'm going to do a video and I'll show you guys what I've collected and all the treasure and everything else. So that should be a pretty good video. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Until then, be cool, be kind, and I will see you all next time and thank you thanks for being cool